Good evening, guys. I pray you all are doing well. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of a revelation that I got tonight while I was in Bible study because it really blessed me during this time of transition. And if you're going through a season of transition and you've been feeling very anxious and overwhelmed, I pray that this brings relief to you like it did to me. So tonight, my spiritual father taught and he was talking about the reasons for the seasons that we go through in life. And he said that, you know, God allows these seasons in our life because they're necessary for us so that we don't become stagnant in our walk with him. And he gave the analogy of a plant. So when you plant a seed and it grows, there is a season where you bear a lot of fruit. And those are the seasons where things are really great in our lives, where we see the blessings, right? But after we go through these seasons, um, just like a plant, the plant has to be pruned again to allow for more growth. So too, will we start to notice like seasons where God is causing us to, to be pruned as well. And it's to allow more growth so that we continue to grow in our walks with him, right? And so he said, these seasons are inevitable. They're going to come whether we like them or not. So we really have to think about what is the approach that we want to take when we're going through these in between seasons, right? And so an example that he gave of how we can approach the seasons was the story of Martha and Mary. If you guys aren't familiar with the story, you can find it in Luke chapter 11, verses 38 to 42. Um, and so... Actually, I'll just read it for you guys. It's it's a small passage. So this is what the scripture says. It says, Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her to help me. Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which is not to be taken away from her. And so when he was talking about this passage, something that caught my attention was in the beginning in verse 38. It says, now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village. And so that word village, I wanted to know what was that word? Like what village did he enter? Now in my commentary it says that the village that Jesus entered in this passage was Bethany. And then it says for more information on Bethany, go to the commentary on John chapter 11, verse one. So that's what I did. Now in the commentary of my Bible in John chapter 11, verse one, it says that the Bethany that's being referred to in Luke chapter 11, verse 38 is known as the modern village of El Azari. And I'll spell it for you guys. It's E-L-A-Z-A-R-I-Y-E-H. And it says this is, an, uh, in Arabic, this place likely recalls the name of Lazarus. So in Arabic, this name is basically like saying Lazarus. Now, when you look up Lazarus in Hebrew, it means God has helped. So if you take that definition of God has helped and you put it into where it says village in Luke chapter 11, verse 38, this is how it reads. Now, as they went on their way, Jesus entered to help. Okay. And so when we're going through these seasons of like transition, right, where we're going from one season to another, this is where God comes in to help us. And so really this passage is showing the two ways we tend to approach this period of time. Some of us get distracted with serving because we think that the only way we're going to make it from one season to the other is through works, right? And this is based off how, you know, it's it could be many things, whether it be like the society we live in, the culture that we grew up in, right? It's this idea like, if I'm not doing X, Y, and Z, I'm not going to see the miracle, right? But here, what Jesus is teaching us is that what we should be doing when he comes in to help us to get to from one season to another is we should be sitting at his feet and listening. So this is a rested approach. You are rested at his feet listening. And what, what this means is 
when you're sitting at God's feet and listening during a time of transition where there's so much unknown happening, you're really demonstrating that you trust him because you're seeking him in the midst of the unknown. When you're taking Martha's approach where you're serving, right? You're basically trying to take things in your own hands because you feel like you need to be busy doing something because you think you're going to produce what is needed to get to the other side, to get into this new season. And that's that's not how it works when God steps in to help. When God steps in to help, he steps in to help and he doesn't need our help to help us. If you understand where I'm going with that. And so this is what caught my attention in verse 41. He says, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, right? But one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion. And so if you have been going through this in-between season and you're noticing lately, like you're just much more anxious than usual, much more overwhelmed. And, and yes, you know, you're feeling that way because you don't know what's coming, but it's getting to the point where it's just taking over. It's because you're operating like Martha did during this, this season when God stepped in to help, Martha automatically started doing works. She started distracting herself, thinking that she had to do things in between in the midst of the unknown. And really, she should have been sitting at God's feet and resting. Because when it says here that Mary has chosen the good portion, it's saying that she's chosen something that will, she can keep, right? Because it says here, which will not be taken away from her. She's going to keep this lesson. And so when we choose in in this in between from one season to another, when God steps in to help us, when we choose to sit at his feet, what we're really doing is we're learning how to trust God in the unknown. And that lesson that we gain as we sit at his feet during this time, no one will be able to take that away from us because there will be such a reassurance that we gain in taking this stance during this time that we will be able to apply it from season to season to season because we know that the seasons of life that we go through are inevitable, right? We know that they're going to come, but as we continue to exercise this approach of resting at God's feet and trusting him and learning to perfect that, right? We'll be able to take that and apply it. And so the transitions that we go through as the years go by and times go by will be easier and easier because we have already gained that good portion like Mary. We gain that understanding that when God steps in to help, we don't have to help him. We can just rest at his feet and listen and let him guide us. And so if this has been you during this time, if you're going through this this time between one season and another, I really encourage you to take some time and just sit at God's feet and listen. I think one of the things that we tend to do during this time is we go to God and be like, God, what are you doing? I need direction. I need instruction. Can you help me? Can you guide me? Can you? And it's like we're talking, 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 but we don't give God a chance to respond. And so if you have been, if you're there, and you've been doing the Mary approach and you're full of anxiety and you're feeling troubled and overwhelmed, I'm encouraging you to just go into your secret place and say, God, I'm listening. And just just let the Holy Spirit speak to you. Sometimes in that silence when the Holy Spirit steps in and you've been so overwhelmed, the peace that flows over you is everything you really need just to know that God is with you, you know? Um, and to give you that peace to allow him to work, to help you in this in-between season. And so I just pray that this bless you guys and it really help you guys as you're going through this transition for those who are going through the transition and it bring rest to your souls. And until next time, bye. Love you guys.